This video is going to just discuss a few advanced features of GeoGebra. Um, in particular, I'm going to look at some built-in commands and then uh, checkboxes and buttons. I wanted to point out that uh, this, this uh, video is using an updated version of GeoGebra since my last one. Um, if I go to the About uh, link here, I can see this is version 4.2.56. This is running on uh, Linux. Um, and I've noted that um, in my experience, whenever there's a newer version of GeoGebra, uh, usually the Windows and the Mac versions available are the newest, and the Linux version is sometimes a few cycles behind. So if you're on Windows or Mac, uh, you likely have a few more features. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is just uh, built-in commands. And there are basically two ways to find these commands. Um, one of them is just to start typing something down here in the input bar. So if I start typing the word show, I get a whole list of, of different things. It's probably going right off of the uh, window so you can't see all of them. Um, but one of them down here is show grid. So I can just click on that. Uh, you can see there are square brackets. Uh, and that's indicating to me that I have to to tell it something. I have to give it a, a value, a, a boolean a value here. So I'm going to say show grid and then put true and hit enter. And you can see that displays the grid now in uh, the graphics view. And if I uh, went back and did show grid and put in false, it should make the grid disappear. Uh, now this is sort of a hunt and peck way to find uh, commands. And uh, it can be useful uh, if you sort of have an inkling that, that it might be in the system to do that. Um, but if you just go to the uh, GeoGebra website, um, so this is uh, at the geogebra.org slash en for English and then slash commands, you can see there's a whole command list. And you can go through here and click on things and, uh, and see all the different commands that are available to you. So the reason that I wanted to talk uh, quickly about commands is because uh, checkboxes and uh, buttons, well in particular buttons, can be used with commands. Uh, first I want to just discuss what checkboxes are. Um, and in order to use a checkbox, I'm going to have to put some sort of object on the screen. So um, why don't I just put a point on the screen here, point A. And then I'm going to create a checkbox. And you can see on the drop down it says checkbox to show slash hide objects. Uh, so I click over here uh, and now it's asking me to give it a caption so I'll say uh, this will be show point A and then I just go into this list and click on uh, one of the objects that currently exists telling it to show that object so uh, now I have I'll go back to the move tool uh, if I uncheck the box it will make point A disappear now one thing about this, you should see that there is an associated, that it's created a boolean value, a equals true, and if I wanted to, I could just uh, say a equals false. So I'm changing the value of a by simply uh, typing it into the input bar, just assigning it something in the input bar. Uh, now you can also uh, sort of nest these checkboxes. Uh, so I'm going to say um, show uh, checkbox A. So uh, what this has done now is this has actually uh, made the other checkbox appear and disappear. And this can be useful um, if you want students to have to click on, you know, s sort of have this option but tell them don't use that right now. Um, and then later you want them to be able to, to, to do stuff with it. All right, so that's just a little thing on checkboxes. Uh, as far as buttons, uh, the button command is right here as well. And buttons are going to require a little bit of scripting. So I'm going to actually have to type a little bit of code in to tell it uh, what I want it to do. Um, so I'll just make a button that uh, turns the grid on. So turn on grid. And uh, if you remember, uh, there was a show grid command. So show grid, and I'll give it a value of true. So this is turn on grid, and when I when I click it, it turns the grid on. However, notice unlike a checkbox, it doesn't toggle. So I can click on this button as much as I want. It's not going to turn the grid off. If I want to turn the grid off, I have to make another button. 
that says turn off grid. And this is going to be show grid, the show grid command. And um, I'm passing it false so that it will turn off the grid. And now I have one button that turns the grid off and another button that turns the grid on. So the, the advantage of, of buttons is that you can put any kind of script in there that you want uh, and it can be quite complicated. Um, whereas checkboxes are more uh, specific, uh, focused on just showing or hiding particular items. Uh, but they have an advantage in that they will toggle the state back and forth. Alright, that's all for this video. Uh, hopefully these things are very useful to you in your design of different uh, GeoGebra sketches.